Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Boardmasters with me, Chris Mullins. And tonight I'm going to be unboxing the Seven Wonders Second Edition, which again is not the newest of games. I think it came out September time last year. And basically it's been sat in shrink wrap for me since I got it for Christmas because it starts from three players and due to COVID we have not really had the opportunity to get three players all around the table yet. But it's one that I featured recently in my top 10 classics that I really, really want to play. Which felt a little bit like a cop-out because, well, I owned it for six months and it almost felt like it, that was a list that should have been games that maybe I should have changed it to 10 games I want to own or something. But I just really, really want to play Seven Wonders and I have ever since I got into this hobby. And I understand a lot of people don't like the artwork for this compared to the previous edition. Now, obviously, I don't have any experience with the previous edition. Oh, a little rule video. So we have lots of bits of pieces, description of effects, list of cards. Okay, so they're all to facilitate an easier experience playing the game, I guess. All good things of this earth flow into the city, Pericles. You're a leader of one of the seven greatest cities in antiquity. Develop your city by increasing your scientific discoveries, military conquests, commercial agreements, and prestigious structures to lead your civilization to glory. All the while, keep an eye on your neighbor's progress since they share similar ambitions. Will your wonder transcend the millennia to come? Okay, that's a very nicely presented rule book. And a very short rule book as well. There's only, well, four real pages of gameplay rules, which is always nice because hopefully that will be nice and easy to hopefully teach and learn. We have some nice, decent quality tokens there, the money. I guess reputation and more of the same. I guess these are all the individual players boards. Uh, oh, and double sided, very nice. Babylon and night and day. I don't know if you turn these over during the game when you proceed to a night stage or anything, I'm not sure. But I love the artwork and obviously it's featuring the Seven Wonders of the World. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, for example. Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And I sort of love history. History is just such a fascinating topic and you know if it can be taught really boringly in school if they pick the wrong subject and think uh, the wrong area to teach but there's so much fascinating stuff that really there's no excuse to make it boring uh, these are obviously just little scorecards yep they're all the same is there anything under the insert always worth a check no nope. I almost regretted checking that because it didn't seem to want to go back in. And then we've got a couple of bundles of cards to look at. Again, similar to the video I've done a red outpost recently when I unboxed that. There's not a huge amount of components to look at. But again, the artwork on these location cards is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, throwing them around. Yeah, loving the artwork on those. Be interesting to see the artwork on the original to try and understand why people seem to dislike this version so much because from what I've seen it's pretty attractive. Uh, certainly love the art on the player boards, love the art on the cards. And again this is just sort of more of the same, more locations giving you resources and again more beautiful artwork. 
course the game's gonna get, gotta get some semi-naked women in at the bass. Probably couldn't get away with that. They must have snuck that through really in these days, because you know, with the quality and everything, if you don't have male and female characters, everything kicks off. And you know, quite rightly, everyone needs and deserves to be represented. Uh, so you would think they would have had to put a male character in the bass as well, but who knows? That is a very different kettle of fish, I guess. That is a a very deep well that I'm not going to dive into in this video. But yeah, I said it was going to be a short one. That's basically everything there is to Seven Wonders. And I cannot wait to see how they form such few components, basically just cards with some coins, into a game that's been loved for a, well over a decade. And I'm hoping it will get, gain the same favour with me that Villagers did recently with when that was just a box of cards and I utterly fell in love with it. So hoping I get more of the same with this. But that is the second edition of Seven Wonders. So thank you very much for watching. Look after yourself, stay safe and have a good one. Thank you. Bye bye now.